Have you ever wondered how gold, one of the most treasured elements on Earth, is made? Our story begins in the furthest reaches of the cosmos, where the raw materials of our universe are forged in the heart of stars. Gold is not just any ordinary element, it's a cosmic marvel, born from the violent collisions of neutron stars. These are the smallest and densest stars in the universe, packed with neutrons and spinning at incredible speeds. When two of these celestial giants clash, the energy produced is so intense that it forces atoms together, creating heavier elements like gold. This process, known as nucleosynthesis, is the grand cosmic forge where gold is born. Now imagine this for a moment. A neutron star collision is so powerful that it sends a magnificent spray of these newly formed elements hurtling across the universe at nearly the speed of light. These tiny particles of gold, along with other elements, fly through the cosmos, eventually becoming part of gas clouds that can condense and form new stars and planets. Our own planet Earth was born from one of these gas clouds. Over billions of years, it cooled and solidified with these elements, including gold trapped inside. As the Earth's crust formed, volcanic activity brought some of this gold to the surface, where it's been discovered and treasured by civilizations across the ages. But remember, the gold that we find on our planet today was formed in these cosmic events billions of years ago. That means the gold in your jewelry, the gold in our vaults, every tiny speck of gold is a relic of a distant cosmic past, a testament to the awe-inspiring forces at work in our universe and a reminder of our connection to the cosmos. So, in essence, every piece of gold is a little piece of cosmic history. Now that we know how gold is made, how does it end up on the surface of our planet? It's a fascinating story, let me tell you. The journey of gold from the heart of our planet to its surface is a tale of epic geological processes and the inexorable forces of nature. Let's start with tectonic plate movements. Our planet is a bit like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Its surface is divided into large pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving, albeit at a pace slower than a snail's crawl. But over millions of years, this slow, steady movement has a dramatic impact. It shapes mountains, carves out valleys, and yes, it also brings gold to the surface. When two tectonic plates collide, the impact is so powerful that it pushes the Earth's crust upwards, forming mountains. These mountains often contain veins of gold brought up from deep within the Earth's mantle. Over time, weathering and erosion break down these mountains, releasing the gold and depositing it in streams and rivers. Yet tectonic movements are not the only way gold makes its way to the surface. Volcanic activity plays a crucial role too. Volcanoes are essentially openings in the Earth's surface that allow hot molten rock or magma from beneath the crust to escape. This magma often contains dissolved gold. As the magma cools and solidifies, the gold is left behind, forming deposits that can be mined. Now, imagine a volcano erupting, spewing out magma and ash, the ash settles and solidifies, forming layers of rock. Over time, these layers are buried and compressed, and sometimes they contain enough gold to form a deposit. That's another way gold can reach the surface. So, there you have it. The journey of gold is a testament to the power and majesty of our planet's geological processes. It's a story of colliding tectonic plates and erupting volcanoes, of the slow but persistent forces that shape our world. And it's these forces that, over millions of years, bring gold from the depths of the Earth to the surface, making it accessible to us. So, through the forces of nature, gold journeys from the depths of the Earth to be within our reach. Once on the surface, where does this precious metal accumulate? Now there's a golden question. Gold, with its distinct lustrous yellow sheen, has a special relationship with quartz. Why, you ask? Well, gold is insoluble in water. This property, coupled with the fact that quartz often forms in hot, water-rich environments, creates the perfect conditions for gold to be deposited in quartz veins. Let's break it down. When gold-laden water cools down, the gold can't stay dissolved. Instead, it gets deposited along with quartz in cracks and fissures within the Earth's crust, forming what we call veins. These veins are often a mix of quartz and gold, creating a stunning spectacle of gleaming yellow metal entwined with white or smoky quartz. A classic example of this phenomenon is the Mother Lode in California. The term Mother Lode originated during the California Gold Rush, 
referring to a rich vein of gold-bearing quartz that was discovered in the Sierra Nevada in the mid-19th century. This extensive vein stretches over a whopping 120 miles from Mariposa County in the south to El Dorado County in the north. The gold found in the mother lode is what fueled the gold rush and subsequently led to California statehood. But not all gold is found in quartz veins. Some of it is spread out in alluvial deposits where the gold has been eroded from the veins and carried downstream by water. These deposits are often found in riverbeds or old lake beds and can be extracted through placer mining. Nevertheless, veins remain the primary source of gold. Miners follow these veins, delving deep into the earth, digging out the quartz and then extracting the gold. These veins, winding their way through the earth's crust, are like a treasure map, leading those who can read them to the precious bounty of gold lurking below the surface. These veins and deposits are the treasure chests for gold miners. And that's how the gleaming metal we so treasure finds its way from the earth's depths to our jewelry and coinage, symbolizing wealth and prosperity throughout the ages. So, how do we extract this precious metal from earth's crust? Well, it's no easy feat. It's a complex process that begins with prospecting. This initial stage involves geological exploration and analysis to identify potential gold-bearing areas. Miners use tools like metal detectors, pans and sluice boxes to find traces of gold in rivers and streams. Once a promising location is found, the actual mining process begins. Now there are two main methods of gold extraction, placer mining and hard rock mining. Placer mining is used when gold is found in loose sediment, usually in riverbeds. Miners sift through the sediment, washing it in water to separate the heavier gold particles. This method has been used since ancient times, and while it's relatively straightforward, it's not very efficient. Much of the gold can be lost in the process. Hard rock mining, on the other hand, is used when gold is still locked away inside rocks deep underground. This method involves drilling and blasting rocks to extract the gold-bearing ore. The ore is then crushed into a fine powder and mixed with water to create a pulp. This pulp is then treated with chemicals that bind to the gold, separating it from the rock. But it doesn't end there. The gold still needs to be purified. This is usually done by smelting, where the gold is heated to its melting point and impurities are burned off, leaving behind pure gold. It's important to note that hard rock mining is a high-tech operation it requires a significant investment in machinery and technology, and it's also more dangerous than placer mining, but it's the most effective way to extract gold from the earth. While gold mining may seem like a relic of the past, it's a vital industry that continues to thrive today. It's a testament to our enduring fascination with this precious metal and our relentless pursuit to unearth its hidden treasures. Mining gold is a complex process that requires much effort and technology. And yet the allure of gold, its timeless appeal, drives us to delve deep into the earth, braving the challenges to bring this precious metal to light. But what is the cost of extracting this precious metal? As glittering as the rewards may be, the environmental impact of gold mining is not quite as appealing. The pursuit of this lustrous yellow metal often leaves a scar on our planet, a fact we must face as we delve into the depths of earth for gold. Firstly, let's talk about deforestation. Mining operations, particularly open pit mines, require vast areas of land to be cleared. This results in the destruction of habitats, leading to a significant loss of biodiversity. The rich tapestry of life that once thrived is replaced by barren landscapes, stripped of their former vitality. From the Amazon rainforest to the jungles of Borneo, the quest for gold has led to the decimation of precious ecosystems, pushing numerous species towards extinction. Next, we must consider the impact on our water sources. Gold mining often involves the use of harmful chemicals, such as cyanide and mercury. These toxic substances can leach into nearby water sources, contaminating them and making them unfit for consumption. This not only affects the local wildlife, but also communities living downstream who rely on these water sources for their daily needs. Moreover, the process of gold extraction generates a significant amount of waste, for every gram of gold produced, up to 20 tons of waste rock and soil known as tailings are created. These tailings can contain harmful substances that, if not managed carefully, can seep into the surrounding environment, 
causing further damage. And let's not forget about the air pollution. The dust and emissions from mining operations can affect air quality, contributing to respiratory problems among local communities and workers. So, while gold may shine brightly in our jewelry and our economies, the environmental impact of its extraction casts a long shadow. It's a stark reminder that every treasure comes with a price, and in this case, it's a price our planet pays. It's clear that the quest for gold has a significant impact on our planet. As we continue our journey into the world of gold, let's keep this in mind, because understanding the cost of gold is just as important as appreciating its value. Where in the world is gold mining most prevalent? Let's embark on a journey to the corners of the globe where the lust for gold drives economies and shapes landscapes. Starting our journey in the east, we land in China, the world's largest gold producer. Mining in China is a massive industry, with gold mines dotting the landscape from Shandong in the east to Sichuan in the west. Here, traditional mining practices are interwoven with modern technology, creating a unique blend of old and new. However, the environmental impact is a significant concern, with the Chinese government implementing strict regulations to mitigate the damage. Next, we journey to the land down under. Australia, the second largest gold producer, is well known for its large open pit mines. In the vast outback, gold mining is a vital part of the economy, with towns like Kalgoorlie built on the back of the precious metal. The Australian government places a high emphasis on environmentally sustainable mining practices, setting a global example. Finally, we find ourselves in the heart of South Africa. In the depths of the Witwatersrand Basin, miners descend kilometers underground, chasing veins of gold in one of the world's richest deposits. Despite the inherent dangers of deep-level mining, the industry thrives, driven by the country's insatiable demand for gold. Yet the environmental cost is significant, and the South African government faces the challenge of balancing economic needs with environmental preservation. From the soaring mountains of China, to the expansive Australian outback and the deep mines of South Africa, the pursuit of gold is as diverse as the landscapes it molds. Whether it's the traditional miners of China, the open pit miners of Australia, or the deep level miners of South Africa, each contributes to the global tapestry of gold production. Yet, as we marvel at the global reach of gold mining, we must not forget the environmental impact. Each country faces its own set of challenges, and the balancing act between economic growth and environmental preservation is a delicate one. From east to west, the pursuit of gold is a global endeavor. What does the future hold for gold? This is a question that has intrigued many, from geologists to economists. With the increasing demand for gold and the dwindling supplies on Earth, the future of gold mining could very well lie in the cosmos. The quest for gold has always driven humans to push the boundaries of exploration. From the deep, dark corners of the Earth to the vast, uncharted territories of the ocean, we've come a long way in our search for this precious metal. But now, as we look towards the future, we're setting our sights even higher, to the stars. Space mining is a concept that once belonged in the realm of science fiction. However, with advancements in technology, the possibility of extracting gold from asteroids and other celestial bodies is becoming more plausible. Asteroids, for instance, are believed to be rich in precious metals like gold and platinum. A single asteroid, in fact, could contain more gold than has ever been mined on Earth. But it's not just about the abundance of gold in space. The potential for space mining also lies in the fact that gold, among other elements, is easier to extract in a zero-gravity environment. This is because the processes that make gold extraction challenging on Earth, such as the need to separate it from other minerals, become much simpler in space. However, before we get carried away with visions of gold-studded asteroids, it's important to remember that space mining is still in its infancy. There are numerous challenges to overcome, from the technological hurdles of mining in space to the legal implications of celestial ownership. Nevertheless, the prospect of space mining represents a new frontier in our ongoing quest for gold. As Earth's resources continue to deplete, the lure of a virtually untapped reservoir of gold in space becomes increasingly attractive. And so, as we stand at the threshold of a new era in gold mining, one thing is clear. Our fascination with this lustrous metal is far from over. 
As we look to the stars, gold may once again become a cosmic pursuit. So we've embarked on a journey from the cosmos to the core of the Earth and back again. We've witnessed the birth of gold from the fiery furnace of star explosions, its long journey to the Earth's surface, and the complex geological processes that form gold deposits and veins. We've delved into the art of gold mining and explored the diverse techniques used around the globe, from the vast open pit mines of Australia to the underwater operations in South Africa. We've also examined the environmental impact of gold mining, a critical issue that demands our attention and responsible action. And we've pondered the future of gold, acknowledging its enduring allure and the innovative methods in development for its extraction. The story of gold is a fascinating tale of cosmic events, geological processes, human ingenuity, and the constant pursuit of wealth. Remember, every piece of gold is a piece of our universe's history, brought to us by the forces of nature.